some of the worst training carriers that exist are also sponsors of women in trucking and can they commit all kinds of driver abuse so there's only one thing in common with the good carriers the bad carriers and those aspiring to be better carriers at women in trucking and and it's not a good you know it doesn't look good to drivers there there's there's only one thing that it seems like what's the connection at women in trucking they haven't done anything to help women truckers they have covered up abuse so what are you sponsoring a cover-up I mean people are getting hurt Are you sponsoring people getting hurt, abandoned, beat up during their training? Is that what you're sponsoring? You don't need a best practices paper. It's already the law. You just have to enforce the policies that you already have in the training carriers. And you other carriers that don't rely on student labor, you should not be associating with student fleets until they get their act together. Because that just makes you an accomplice if you know this stuff is going on. I mean, if you're saying to yourself, why aren't women are being retained in the industry? Why aren't we getting so, why aren't we able to hire more? Look at the training carriers. Look at organizations like Women in Trucking who are covering up abuse. They're getting sponsorships from organizations who are in litigation for what they've done to female truckers. They're not going and being pre proactive and saying, hey, you got eight women living in this little tiny room with no facilities. Like, you wouldn't even keep dogs like this. It would be against the law. That's what I'm saying. Abandoning women, throwing them off the truck because they won't have sex with the trainer, you know, uh, you know, rejecting rejecting his advances. So he writes on the Qualcomm. He feels threatened by her. Is this what you're sponsoring? Somebody that will ease the impact of litigation for this sort of conduct? Carriers need to start, you know. They need to start carving out from the herd. If you're a carrier that has women truckers and then they don't, it is not necessary for them to drive with anybody else, you're in a whole different category. If you have only hire experienced drivers, you're in a whole different category. If you're a carrier that takes people right off the street and you don't even care what happens to them, whether they crash or get raped or whatever as long as you get that tuition from them or you get some cheap labor to run team freight for a while what are you sponsoring women in trucking for to just you, you make yourself look like you have some sort of credibility and so these these carriers that are really trying to clean up their image you know look at the company you keep that's what that's what you need to do. Look at the company you keep. The drivers see it. I don't want nothing to do with it. So, you know, have your little industry party. We drivers, we're going to keep exposing it. And I think we're doing pretty good. In, you know, a year and a half, I think we made oh, I think we've made some considerable progress. You should do the salute to the women behind the wheel. You should salute them way better than you did last year with those ridiculous... Uh, Frito-Lay is a sponsor and they give you like three packs of individual chips. Come on. You can't even... Give them a whole bag. I mean, a lemonade, lemonade in a sparklets container. Brownies cut into eight tiny pieces. I mean, it was kind of like, here ladies, we're saluting you, but um, uh, oh, I got to go wash my hands. That's what it looked like.
You know, that's how, oh, let's, let's salute him. Okay, all right, now, everybody get into the picture. Okay, all right, bye. <laughs> it, it was just, it was really, um, it was really pandering to have such big name sponsors and to deliver so very little. And then just herd them out, take their picture. Don't even tell them that you're planning to use it for your promotional materials. Here's your free t-shirt, ladies. All stand together with Everybody put on my women in trucking t-shirt and let me take your picture. I like women truckers. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's how it looked. You know, I mean, so hopefully the salute to the women behind the wheel, number two, you're going to come up with something a little bit better. Because I know you're going to try and take a picture of all these women again and use it for your promotional materials. So Frito-Lay and Tyson and Walmart, I mean, maybe you should throw down a little bit more than lemonade in a sparklets container. Because I know when you have your shindigs, you guys go all out. I know you do. So, let's show some real respect, some real saluting to these women truckers this year. And stop using them for your promotional materials.